These are dark times, there is no denying. Our world has perhaps faced no greater threat than it does today. Well, we are living in dark times for sure. But that's not about this video. Today we're going to be finally talking about the a little over one month review of the Low Pro Freeline backpack. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So I actually have a lot of thoughts and sort of like pros and cons list here going on for the Low Pro Freeline backpack. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing as I take and absolutely love backpack reviews. That's kind of the staple of this channel. So I'd love to have you on board and to show other backpacks in the future. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Um, so we're first gonna kind of go through a rundown of what I hold in this backpack on a day-to-day -day basis. So back in Chicago, I do travel a lot uh, to and from the office. There's two offices that I typically go to. So depending on what I have going on that day, kind of changes uh, what I bring in this backpack. However, the, for the most part, this is what I take. Now that I have a better setup, let's first do a rundown of what I typically bring with me on a day-to-day -day basis. Upon getting this bag, I knew I had to be really intentional on what to bring with me since there isn't a lot of room to begin with. Of course, for editing purposes, I do bring my 15-inch laptop. When planning for shoots or writing down my ideas, there's nothing like a good old notebook and pen. So I am rocking the most expensive pen I own, the Peter McKinnon Fly the Flag Brass Pen. I really love the included ink that came with it. For a quick review on this, I'll post the video somewhere around here for you guys to check it out. Then, of course, I have my non-essentials essentials, such as my lotion, gum, glasses, contact solution, and whatnot. To me, these are actually like really, really big essentials. I need to bring them with me everywhere. And of course, AirPods. I use these on my train ride to and from the downtown office, so I like to have them in a place for quick access. The included pouch that came with the backpack is the perfect place for my work external hard drive, a few cables, microfiber cloth, and stores my mouse most of the time. Okay, so now we're going down to the nitty gritty of this bag. Um, I think the biggest gripe I have against this is the organizer inside. You know how it's, um, you can kind of pull out the organizer, make this an empty backpack and reorganize whatnot. So it's not attached to the backpack. It's not just shelves. It's like a front and a back um, and whatnot. Watch the unboxing if you're kind of not knowing what I'm talking about. So I'll post the link of the initial unboxing and review of this backpack somewhere around here. But anyways, the this back portion of the shelf unit bends forward. Now I'll try to kind of show you guys. It is kind of hard to demonstrate because it's it's not a stretchy backpack. It for, it stays in its formation, which again could be a good and bad thing for some of you. But I don't like how that back panel bends forward. I oftentimes when I want to take something in and out uh, when not really paying attention, I've had a few times where I put whatever said item behind the panel, causing it to fall all the way to the bottom. So that's really annoying. I really, really don't like it. As you guys could see here, I have placed two magnets. I bought two really strong magnets thinking that the sticky part of it would stick to the material of the actual backpack, but it doesn't. So that really sucks. It still bends forward. I'm still hesitant on like gluing it. I think maybe glue may help it keep it straight up, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I should be gluing it. I don't know if I'm keeping this backpack or if I'm gonna try to sell it. I mean, I love it, don't get me wrong. And if again, if you're not new here, if you've been watching my videos, you know I don't really have a rating system. But if I were to have a rating system, that thing going forward would lose one point, one star, just because of that. It's, it's really annoying, I think it's a design flaw. Either the shelving thing is not strong enough to be straight up all the time, or, or whatnot. So that's the biggest 
the biggest thing that I have against this backpack. And of course, you've heard me say no backpack is absolutely perfect, so let's just do a quick rundown of, uh, I guess we'll do the cons first. So the Sony a7 III body doesn't really fit perfectly. Um, I'll try to demonstrate or I'll try to show you guys how the shell on one side where you actually hold it, the grip, tends to bend. Because of the body, the way you fit it in sideways, it kind of makes it bend because it's not quite the size of it. So it's not perfect, but it works. Again, if you're like really, really OCD and you need things to be straight line, this will not be the bag for you, especially if you're carrying a Sony a7 III. Okay, so this is actually really important. The way I place items inside the backpack has to be in a certain order. This is what I mean. If I place my 50 millimeter lens, the Peak Design strap, and my water bottle before my Sony a7 III with the 16 to 35 uh, lens attached, the side panel where my camera is won't close. It sticks up too much. So, especially because of the water bottle, it pushes in. So, that this area has to go last. The 50 millimeter lens, the water bottle have to go last. I first put in my Sony with the 16 to 35 lens and it fits perfectly, it closes, and then I put that other stuff and it does push it, but it keeps it closed and it, and it works that way. And now I think the another kind of really annoying thing about this backpack is this chest strap. So I don't know if it's because I have smaller shoulders as of course most camera backpacks unfortunately are designed mainly for men. So they don't really take into account our shoulders. They are a little bit, um, they're not as wide and broad as men's shoulders. So I actually use the chest strap all of the time. Even if I'm walking from the office to the front door of, of my car, whatever, I put this on because it just makes it so much more comfortable. I feel like the straps are falling off um, I don't know if that's because of the weight of the backpack. Again, you saw I don't really carry abundance of things, but it's still heavy. Anyways, what I don't like about it, I do have to use both of my hands to like attach the strap because I do attach it to the top. You, you get three settings. I use it at the top. Uh, I need both hands to use it. I wish it was a lot more like quicker on and off kind of thing. And then I hate that this thing is loose because believe it or not, this thing gets attached to so many things and it's so annoying. I actually trip and fell when I had this backpack uh, down by my feet. I was getting out of my car, uh, long story short, I was getting out of the car and this thing got stuck in like my shoelace and just, I just fell on the ground. So I really hate how this is dangly. I wish there was like a perfect spot for it to like stay in when it's not in use. Uh, so, I don't know, I wish the design was a little bit better and quicker access because for me, I do need to use a chest strap all the time. It does make a difference as far as like the way you feel with the backpack. It feels really, really good with, with the chest strap. And then also, since we're already back here, I do want to mention you do get two like straps back here to hold onto the backpack. It took me some time to get used to holding or reaching for a strap back here because I'm so used to grabbing something at the side of the backpack but there isn't so i'm often going like oh, no it's back here so it's that's a little bit of a learning curve it's not such a huge huge deal it's a it can be a little bit awkward to have the straps in the back not on the side again it's just a learning curve okay so please don't think that i absolutely hate this backpack i don't i really really like it this has probably been one of my favorite backpacks I have used to date. So that's gotta say something, especially if you've been around here for some time. Ultimately, I love the look and the feel of the backpack. It's like high quality and for the price point of this backpack, it, you really do get them uh, the most for your money. Very weather resistant. I've walked in rain, snow, and never used the actual dedicated snow cover that comes with it or rain cover. And everything has stayed dry, even these pockets up here, which I'm always like really paranoid with the AirPods. That's the only thing that's like of value in this pouch. But even with the rain and snow, it just slides off, keeps your things very well protected. And because of its small form factor, this is, uh, I know Low Pro uses 350 or 450. This is like a 350 version. It does fit your 15 inch MacBook Pro. I also believe that it will fit your 16 inch MacBook Pro as it's not much bigger as the 15 inch. And you still get quite a uh, quite a lot of room up top. 
So because of that, it's easy to get on and off the train without bumping into anyone because this isn't such a massive backpack. So I really appreciate using a 350 sized backpack. Plus it's also helped me become more conscious of what I'm bringing. I don't tend to bring a lot of crap, mainly because I have no room for it. But because of that, I do like to keep my necessities, my staple items on the bottom. And I try to keep this top portion compartment as empty as I can besides my notebook and pen and uh, my little bottle of lotion. That way I have the option if one day it's a shoot, I need to bring my drone. Well, I'm not gonna be freaking out that, oh my God, I don't have anywhere I can fit it on this backpack. I have space up here. So this compartment usually stays rather empty just in case for those kind of items. If I need to bring extra things, I have a spot for it and I don't have to bring another bag or switch out a bag entirely. So overall, who do I think this backpack is for? Well, at the end of the day, if you're a minimalist or you necessarily don't need to bring both uh, editing and recording items, since I do have to have a mix of both, I have to keep very, both of those categories very limited and very small. If you're massive into bringing like four or five lenses, it's gonna be very, very hard to bring a laptop and hard drives and mouse and all that stuff because same as the Peak Design backpack gripe thing that I had, with the first version. When you have the backpack full, it's very hard and a very tight fit for the laptop compartment. It's the same as this one. If you have this backpack really, really full and you try to put in your 15 inch MacBook um, in here, it's, it's very hard, it's very tight, and so I get very afraid that it's gonna crack the screen or anything. And also, it's not enough space for both a, a tablet and a laptop. Since I carry around my iPad 11 inch with the Logitech case, it, this is a pretty hefty case, um, so it doesn't fit along with the laptop back here, even though it has a dedicated tablet sleeve. Oftentimes when I do carry around my iPad, I put it up here in this pouch. It fits perfectly, it works, and I'm not afraid of either screen cracking. Going back to the price of how much this bag costs, when you compare it to the other Low Pro line or even Peak Design or Think Tanks, this is pretty spot on on the price. I think it's it's worth it for what it for what it is at. It's not too expensive. It's not like super cheap either, but you get really high quality material out of this backpack. So at the end of the day, I'm like really really happy with this backpack. Um, and I hope that like this review helps you in the decision if you're checking out the free line backpack by Low Pro. I think it's really cool. It looks awesome. I always get compliments on how cool this backpack looks. So there's that. It's a bonus feature of it. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'll be posting links down below to any of the items that I can find. Or if you have any questions about something specific, whether it be the backpack or any of the items I carry around, please comment down below. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, hit the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay safe.